Libraries Everywhere teach classes and lead programs for their users to help library users learn more about being information literate, to develop professionally, and to effectively use library resources. Every library is different, so you'll see a wide variety of programs and classes offered. Academic libraries focus a lot of attention to information literacy classes and workshops, and most are done in conjunction with courses taught by their institution. Academic library programming typically involves initiatives tied to the institution's faculty and curriculum and the strategic goals. Public library classes usually revolve around the use of specific resources, like their ebook platforms or audiobook services, or specific software, like Microsoft Word, or a specific goal, like resume building. Public library programming is usually very fun, like story times, maker spaces, or other creative events. However, these are broad generalizations. What kind of programming and instruction classes does your library offer? When you begin to think about creating a class or a program, you need to think about your objectives first. What will you teach? What are your outcomes? What do you want the library user to do after you teach your class? Phrase your outcomes to something like, the library user will demonstrate how to use the 3M client to download ebooks. Use action verbs in your thinking that indicate your learner will do something. Avoid ambiguous terms like know about or understand, as those are harder to gauge. Imagine you will grade your learners. Demonstrate or perform are terms that are easier to grade than, to un than understand. How will you know your learner understands something? By demonstrating it. And most importantly, keep it simple. Active learning is a really important part of instruction and programming. Include a practice session for your learners after you've taught a concept. This is where you can see your learners demonstrating the process. This is really important as we learn better by doing something. Plus, this allows your learner to perform the action you've taught and ask questions if they get stuck. You can have your learners work independently or you can have them work together in small groups. Group work is nice because your learners can help each other. Choose an activity for the learners that corresponds to what you've already taught. And while your learners work, wander through and check in to make sure they don't have any unanswered questions. When it comes to creating a library program, you need to think about objectives and goals as much as you do when creating an instruction class. What are your intended outcomes? Is it to teach kids how to use snap circuits? Is it to generate awareness of a particular book? Do a craft? Even doing something fun needs an objective and an outcome. So think about that when you're approaching a library program. Once you've thought about what you'd like your goal to be and your intended outcomes, even if it is just having fun, decide on your activity. How will you meet your goals? How will you engage your library user with your objective? Will you demonstrate and then have an active learning component? Will you tie it to a collection or a set of resources? Will it be making or helping developing literacy skills? This is the fun part of programming, picking out the fun activity that you will do with your library users. Picking your audience is very important as you want to consider who your library users will be. Will it be teens? Kids and their families? Will it be geared towards adults? Think about who will attend your program so you can select age-appropriate activities and resources for your library users. It's very important to outline a budget for your event as well as to make a list of supplies you'll need. Be very thorough here. You don't want to overlook a key part of your activity and you want to make sure you have enough supplies on hand. If you expect 30 people to attend, make sure you have more than 30 craft supplies or instruction sheets, for example. And don't forget refreshments. Free food is always a draw for programming. If you can afford a snack or drinks, definitely include them. Make sure to check with your library about food and drink policies, too. And most importantly, get the word out. Once you've planned your program, make sure you tell everyone about it. Make sure it gets on your library's programming calendar. Maybe create a flyer for your bulletin board, or make table tents to place around the library. Ask your mentor or supervisor for suggestions, or take a look at the marketing module included in the Learn the Library tutorial. Making sure you tell people about your event ensures you'll have a good turnout. People won't come if they don't know about your fantastic program.